Hello everybody, welcome to another bloodthirsty Worlds of ZZT livestream. <clears throat> the, the chat is already demanding more blood as we continue our journey through Chrono Wars, this time with Part 9. Seeing as how Part 8 kind of involved us hitting a child with a car and then just leaving. Boy, I hope it's not a trope. It's the, the first... Well, it's not the first time I've seen a child die in a ZZT game, but normally it's going to be, like, over-the-top cartoony violence. They didn't take it very seriously, but it seems like it was a serious thing that happened. It was not played for laughs, as, you know, most ZZT games would do. We are um, getting... Close to the end, honestly. We are on part 9 of 13. Um, part 10 is supposed to be the final game in the series. But much like Friday the 13th part 4, the final chapter, it wasn't. So, yeah. Let's uh, see our flashy title screen. And it is flashy. I'm going to warn you of that now. We won't be staring at it too long. This game is... looks like it's going to be a bit more modest about its blinking, thankfully. I think Kronos really got that out of his system, so we should be okay. But this title screen is going to be a bit... a bit active. So let's uh, unpause here and get into Chrono Wars Part 9, The Secret of the Alliance. Some fun text effects if you aren't going blinded by the lightning. That's it though, no fancy music. A little while back I was like auditing all the screenshots on the museum that just had invisible walls and stuff, and I swear like 90% of them were lightning, thunder, and that kind of stuff. Everything is it's just the cool thing to do on your title screen for sure. So, oh. I've never played a Mega Man X Beyond 3, so I don't know when it was supposed to end, but 5 sounds about right. That's usually where they start winding things down. Let's check out Sea Wars 9, as this file name has been edited to call it. And once again, there's going to be a nice little summary at the beginning. Chrono Wars 9, Secret of the Alliance. The story so far, again. Asher Wells, a physicist and employee of Joe Carter, discovers Joe has invented time travel. They test it and go back to the day of Joe's birth to find out he is born a girl. This is due to Joe's evil brother Chris tampering with the timeline in his own time shift he made after Joe left. Joe and Asher apprehend Chris on a plot to sell time travel to the world and are interrupted by a huge Alliance Starbase. They are caught and sent to a prison camp from which they escape with help from Cal Martin. Three leaving a huge time craft carrier at the USS Tripoli, they discover the Alliance has control of the universe and is everywhere. They are hit by a space rock and accidentally land on Mars in the far past. There is a colony there hiding from the Alliance, who have banned time travel and are astonished by the three landing there. Lokar, their leader, almost kills the crew of the Tripoli in fear that they will escape to tell their story. They do escape, and go back to the future. We find that so has Lokar. He has also enslaved Earth. The three are punished, but get pulled back to their home timeline by none other than Jane, the alternate Joe, created by Chris's temperament. Temperament. Her timeline was erased somehow, and she sought refuge in Joe's timeline. She also took over his operation and used the facilities to create Reality Warp Drive, which she used to pull them back. They caught a spy and got info about the Alliance. They learned it was led by someone named Mr. C. Then they left in the new refitted Tripoli to test out Reality Warp. They were almost caught by an Alliance craft, but instead time warped to their own past. Asher, Joe, and Cal wandered around, seeing Asher and Joe's houses. Joe also revealed to Asher that Chris had a strange psychic power over him, and that he was a lot smarter than Asher thought. Roto calmed them and told them an Alliance craft was near. They sped back in Asher's dad's car, hitting some kid. They took the pod they stole from the Alliance starbase back to the Tripoli and contacted the Alliance craft. They were friends, rebels of the Alliance. The rebels took them in and recognized Cal, a noted rebel officer. Jane was on the ship as well, and, the re and they revealed to the crew that they have found the core of the Alliance. Now you are on a phased asteroid under a biodome, 
right at the base of operations of the Alliance, home, or perhaps a lair, of Mr. C. The quest continues. So, yeah, it's, it's a mere footnote in the story about how we hit some kid. Enjoy. Plenty of testers. NASCAR, who is not an ALL member, I guess that's important. Yuki. At worldnet. ATT.net. My page on AOL. So here's what I know about this one so far. I just realized I forgot to delete my old saves. How crowded is it? Okay, that's right. The last game was like not dangerous at all. So we've got a manageable number of saves. I don't know much of anything about this one. Um, it did win a Game of the Month award though. So we're at a part in the ZZT's history where the monthly awards are a thing of all the games released in I guess it would have been July or August 98. These dates are not great. I don't think I did them right when I first imported them to the museum. But 1998, summer of 98, is like a very good, a very good year and season. I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Okay. So no, this has to be, this has to be August because Burger Joint was released on July 4th for this same year. And that game won every award imaginable. But Kronos is getting some official recognition and front page prestige. Anybody who was unaware of this series was probably became much more aware of it by the release of number nine here. And I guess this guy's dying? He's dying, confirmed. My life support systems, failing me. I'll take you into the Intrepid and help you. No time, Ack. He can't even. He's dead. He's dead, but I'll take his uniform and pose in his Alliance card. You all can be prisoners. This is brilliant. Talk about respect for the dead. Hey, you just all killed a child last game. Come on, that's the perfect opportunity. Fine, fine. That was incredibly convenient. Any respect for the dressing? And what great humor, too. Okay, I'll look away. I already look like an Alliance officer. I can be the captain with the brig prisoners. Sure, Hudson. Good. Let's go that way. Alright. We're on this asteroid, I guess. Yeah, Jane actually gets to do something on screen. Walk around this crater. Okay, well. Swimming pool full of sharks. I guess that's an A and not a shadow. Or alliance. Ah, well, okay. We don't even have to talk to them. They just immediately understand the prisoners. This game is loaded with death traps. <laughs> Look at each board when you enter it. Most of all, save constantly. So, yeah, the... Game of the Month review mentions this is one of the longest ones, so we may be in for it. And that sometimes you'll enter a puzzle room and not realize it's a puzzle room and it will already be too late. So I'm going to be very, very, very frequently saving. Also, this honestly seems kind of impressive. We get to assemble a party. Touch each member to get them to join. You can make them leave by touching the spot they were at. You will need to come back here a lot to switch members. So this is, like, pretty advanced. And Chrono Trigger Wars, yeah. Okay, let's see. We have Joe, who is rather strong, but not a bodybuilder. Jane, yes, or there's no debate. I don't need to ask anybody. Cal, he seems vague. Hudson, I think he just showed up in the last game. He has Alliance security clearance, though. That could be something. Asher is an alternate you, perhaps a little calmer. He spent his entire career in a lab and is not as good as you are in tight situations. Should we have two Ashers in our group? Yeah, I think Hudson was just like a dude on the ship that we were afraid of that turned out to be friendly. I mean, we're definitely... T we're, we're Asher. This is Asher 2. 
Uh, Liz is a crew member of the USS Intrepid. She is very quick minded and has extraordinary senses of sight and hearing. She is rather nervous and can be insulted easily. And Roto, a polite android built by the Alliance and reprogrammed by Cal. He can interface with many types of computer. So yeah, I mean, Jane is a given. Asher seems popular. I'm seeing support for Roto. I believe Liz is too. Anybody, anybody, USS Intrepid is the ship that we were scared by. Or is that other dude? Hudson. Okay, Hudson doesn't mention that ship. All right, double Asher. Roto is also popular. I don't know how many we get to carry at a time. Three. Jane, Asher, Roto. I'm honestly really curious what this game is going to do with this system. So that would be four if that includes us. So our layabouts here are Liz, who just gets insulted and we don't know anything about. Hudson, who doesn't think before acting. Cal. I got no complaints about Cal. Nope, get back here, Jane. And Joe, who I also don't really have any complaints about. Any preferences? I'm leaning Joe, just because it's kind of personal for him. Brig. Oh, yes, sure enough. Asher and Asher 2, sequel to Asher. This is boring. Cabinet Wing Sykes, so you blast your pack. We'll take it anyway. Offices. Alright, let's go with Hudson. Which one was Hudson? Okay. So this is our group then. Jane, Asher 2, Roto, and we have a blaster. And you know what? There's no sign telling us what's to the north. Also, there appears to be a ricochet here and a bomb in the corner, so that's probably relevant. I really don't know what to expect. I've never seen a ZZT game actually do this. So there's a whole bunch of dialogue. There's a chasm and glass or something. I don't know. We don't have any weapons. I mean, we have blaster ammo, apparently. These dudes will probably do the work for us, for the most part. Um, does this game have, like, melee attacks? If it does, it's not giving us any feedback. Oh, that's actually cool, too. Um, when these breakable walls are getting shot, they're getting restored. So you can't actually shoot up the decorative walls that happen to be made out of breakable pieces. Okay, that was a bust, though. Everybody loves the excitement of the office. Who are you two? Okay. We need to find a weapon. Can't run past them, we have to interact. I'm just gonna assume this also starts the fight. No, this one doesn't do anything. Okay. If only we had security clearance. Well, let's check the brig first and we'll see if swapping out party members lets us just walk past these people, because that could be helpful. Okay. Hudson, you're in. Um, Roto, yeah, I guess you're out. A 
unfortunately, one thing that the Game of the Month review does mention is that there's a lot of backtracking to this cent central hub to switch characters. Although it looks like it's just flags with the characters' names, we can probably cheat our way around that and save us a trip. I should actually just preemptively write down the flag names. Hopefully they're all as simple as the names. Let's see, we got Jane, Asher, Hudson. Was the other one Roto? I'm assuming it was. Alright. Do you still hate us? Yes. Thanks, Hudson. I guess, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they're just gonna hang out in the lobby for us. They'll be fine. Ooh, this person seems to be not having a good time in prison. Looks like they're making progress busting out. Okay, so we've got... An alarm! I guess this is what they mean by, like, instant death, because this will happen. Oh, okay. Um, the review also mentioned a security camera. That's what this is. So when it's pointing to the right like that, then it's seeing us to the right, so we have to sneak past it. So I like what this game is going for, for sure. Okay. Don't soft lock. Don't soft lock. I soft locked. Maybe. No. Okay. We're saved. Okay. Look inside and see a key, but you cannot reach it. Who has tiny arms? Tiny long arms. Prison key, that's good. Need a slender man, yes. And we're already out of torches. So that's also not great. What's up? Okay. Person is not having a good time. How about the sleepy person. Hmm. Maybe that child is just sleeping. I'm gonna save that one for last. And you are. Proponent of blaster packs. Did we just give that to him? I guess we got help out of that. Alright. This person looks like they're trying to dig their way out. Save your strength. Well... At least we return to our the classic Tron Wars trope of kicking people. He ran face first into the wall. He was so excited.
So we helped somebody. Who has long arms? It's probably going to be Rhoda. No, we need Hudson to be able to get in there. One Asher will be sufficient for this mission. Take Rhoda. This is just like the puzzle with the fox and the chicken and crossing the river. And I'm just doing this. I hope I guessed correctly, because otherwise this is going to be tedious. This is going to be tedious. There wasn't anything more outside, right? Yeah, I think this game might have been before that. Um, one of the reviews mentions that like it has a similar system in the next game, and it does a better job of it. So I think that's there is going to be some kind of character swap in the later ones. So just doing it like this. Did I? I didn't zap. Oh, wow! Great. Great, 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 great. This game is trying to detect cheating by having faked walls that get erased. And if you move a certain way with passages, it'll create an empty space. And this game is not smart enough to consider that. So we just got killed for cheating when we hadn't. That's kind of weird. That this game doesn't do anything for like minus dark though, because that's like the easiest cheat to detect. Alright, um, I'm just gonna bust out the walkthrough now, because I feel like this is going to be a very slow process otherwise. Oh my goodness, really? So you know what you know what we didn't do? We didn't check the pillows. And unfortunately it doesn't say which pillow. Actually probably one of the empty cells. To give them a purpose. Okay, so we have one ammo. The walkthrough says we can also get some gems. I'm gonna assume that they are mandatory. Camera saw us through the... well, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a barred wall, but sure. This is gonna be a tough one. So I already saw, we're supposed to use the stone to escape through the wall here. That's what our one bullet is for, apparently. Alright. Gems. Hmm, well, thanks, buddy.
I think I was supposed to shoot these ones instead, so I probably softlocked the game. Probably did. Cool. Okay, never mind. Ammo is plentiful again. Oh right, I do have torches this time. I didn't need to shoot. Use ammo sparingly. Ammo is not lying everywhere in an alliance base. That's an interesting way of connecting boards. Pull the lever. Wrong lever. So, wait, what did that do? It looks like it blocked the way into the room, so it doesn't seem to matter. I extremely don't trust this game. we got here Jane you're out cuz the walkthrough tells me that I need Roto You're not Roto Where's Roto I had Roto never mind Did I not have a full party I guess not It's it's really trying Oop, I didn't want to... Alright, so what's up here then now? Just nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, now we have some ammo. So we can do this. A hole in the wall. They don't have ammo in the space, but they do have bombs. It's kind of weird at this point in the game, just shooting ruffians. It feels a lot more basic than what the rest of this game is trying to be. They're just ruffians. They're very bitey, whatever they may be. to pick up the torches. That is the passage there. Sure. Well, that's all my options. Okay. So we're on the other side of the guards now. So I guess we can sneak behind them. A disc. You got the disc. So what's this thing? Hmm. Oh my goodness. How are you supposed to not get hit like five times doing that? It is a good sound effect, though. I'm glad it's making a return already. 
Oh no, the wall is just going to be permanently stained with blood now. A bolted door. It has a keyhole. By the looks of it, it will suck up the key you put in it. So that's a great way to break the game, I'm sure. Okay, I guess that's good. Keyboard is busted. Somebody spilled coffee. It's one way to do a computer that's not working. Oh, that's a interesting door. See privates. There's nothing to do. Okay. Insert the disk. Okay, I mean we could have ran the dirt command. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Project.com and project.doc. Infinite bytes free. Yes, what's project.doc? By Colm Mira. This is a virus. It will be used to scramble the systems to the anti alliance mainframe. It simply must be put in the computer and will be automatically picked up by autoexec.bat. Oh no. Okay, let's copy these to the disk, including the documentation. What a great interface. Infinite storage on the hard drives, but still using good old floppies. I feel like we should delete that from their computer if that's going to be like a virus that will defeat us. Have virus. I think it did it automatically, but good, good call. But that didn't do anything. Interesting. So you don't have to do that, because I didn't change our flags. But good catch. I'm honestly surprised that that didn't actually matter. Okay, you find yourself atop a ledge, looking down at a meeting. Who is this Mr. C? It is. Troops, I have called you together for an urgent message. The enemy is among us. Hey, it's the phrase. Rebel spies. They may be in disguise, or they may be watching us. Take any suspicious ones to me. This game is ahead of its time in the 2200s. You have not informed us how to detect the enemy, sir. That would be impossible. That guy's, this guy is going to get shot. Are you questioning my orders? No, Mr. C, sir. No one calls me Mr. C. Oh, I am master to you. My god! May that be a warning to those who question my orders, or call me Mr. C, says Mr. C. And just got... Slider attacked. You know what's gonna suck? When we have to turn around. Also, this wall isn't connecting with the rest of the line wall, so it's a trick. It's a trap. It's some sort of computer console. Here's our good buddy Rhoda. Please do. Okay, never mind. It's not a death trap. <laughs> Status, set off the bomb in this room or disconnect. I think the one thing about this ambitious multi-party thing is that our characters don't really get to talk. Alright, well, let's just set off that bomb. Great. 
Oh, I think this is the room we were in before. I think that little dot is like the hole that we climbed into that I didn't think was this passage. Nope. Oh, yeah. Disconnect. Later, Roto. Oh, actually, okay. That's right, we can go out this way now. Nothing. It would have to be, like, really generic, though, because text is, like, one of the heaviest things to include in ZZT. Okay, so what's left? I keep... Hudson's spot blends in too much. They really should have had, like, an underscore character or something. Mr. C is definitely not Chris with psychic powers. There's not a chance. It's gotta be C for Chrono. Rumi Bond was the tunnel you got into the offices from. Was that another board of it? Probably. You monster! That. Okay, so we were here. Hmm. Plot is beginning to thicken. I do like this, though, how we're approaching daylight, or some kind of light. And another force field, I guess. Slow things down and save. Sneeze off mic. Oh, soda machines, okay. I think you're just supposed to guess. Yeah, there really wasn't any hint at that. Thank goodness. Generic carbonated beverage, five gems. Oh my god. Soda can, pushing puzzle. What are we doing with this? So do these things not kill me? I assume these are like security bots or something, but I think they're just there to make your day miserable with these boulders. That's nothing. Oh. Interesting. Well, it's a really big can, so maybe we're not... Oh, here we go. That's our boulder spot, our soda can. Uh, it seems to have broken, though. Well, I'm standing on it again. There's our green key. Let's, uh... Let's kick that can. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This one we just wait patiently for, and let the other one do the work for us. Again. Alright, we've got our soda can pressure plate.
Oh, I guess the transporters here mean if you do push the can into the wrong side, you can still get it across. Or you can also try to push it through this. This will do it. Whoop. Okay, so that's our way over there. Ugh. Actually, I don't know if that is doable normally, but whatever. I'm noticing blue fakes too. So I don't think we're done pushing things. Okay, so that'll let us get back to the beginning. I'm gonna just glance at the walkthrough because I'm gonna assume that that means we need to switch party members. Copy that. Switch Roto for Cal, yeah. Poor Jane has still not gotten a chance to do anything. Roto goes here. Do we have Cal? Oh no, you're Cal. That's a cool computer. I know, what are all these characters for? God help us if they're like all just red herrings. Oh no, what'd that do? What's. Is anything changing when I press this that I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing anything. Music puzzle? Oh, okay, that one seems to control these. Oh, okay. This is what these boulders are for. It's a music puzzle, but not really. Yes, yeah, sorry, soda pop. Okay. I guess there's some leeway there. I don't know how you'd break that though without also rendering the whole thing unwinnable. I don't even know if you can break it, honestly. That was cute, but not really much of a puzzle if the answers just go from one side to the other. If that opened up a door over on this side, and that's going to take us onto this walkway. I didn't even realize that's this is supposed to be some sort of like multiple levels here. We've got these pillars with a walkway above. So that'll put us up here. The use. Ooh. Yes, please. Hey. That's better than nothing. And we've got the red key to the computer station. Oh. Well, good. That's something I trust. Computer station. Go inside. Please identify yourself. Hudson. Putting in the effort. Richard Ian Hudson. April 12th, 2240. Six foot one, 210. Captain of the USS Intrepid. I guess we're just going to give him the virus? Just put in the virus and reboot the computer. This is going to spread like a wildfire. 
What about the system's governing life support? Okay, there's Jane being smart. Oh yeah, I'll protect the life support program. Click, click. Good save, Jane. This is why we love her. So wait, okay, I have to look at the walkthrough now, because I'm fully expecting that if Jane is not in your party when you do this, that you just die. Hey, and a transporter. Red key. I, yeah, it, well, it doesn't mention that you have to have her, but I think at some point earlier in the walkthrough it does say so, because it does say now you can get rid of her. So yeah, I think so. Jane is the brains of the operation here. You almost certainly do. Go north. Switch, okay, yes, yeah, so we got backtrack. Push Jane for J I'm gonna assume. We've got Joe, everybody. Hopefully that's correct. Hmm. This is a nice board. Oh, look at that, it's hydro-powered. It's turning the, the turbines, and then if you follow the... It plugs into the computer. That's great. This is such a realistic game. Oh no, Hudson can't do something for once. Oh, I love the little shadow on the water here with the bridge. That's good. And this is... Ouch! Hello, welcome. We're enjoying the hydroelectric powered computer. A laser gun. It takes so much juice it needs to be plugged in. The wire. Whoa. What? <laughs> Not what I expected. Do I have to plug it in here? Okay, let's try this again, I guess. Um. I don't know what I'd do with the laser gun either. I guess maybe I shoot the thing up top with it? So I'm gonna say I want a path. No, not that way. I don't get this because I'm just gonna block everything. Oh, unless I make it tunnel through the walls, apparently. So... Okay. That was an interesting puzzle. That was bizarre. It's pointing to the right. This is incredible. I'm gonna hope this shoots to the north. Actually, I'm gonna make sure I line up right in the middle there. Fire the laser. Oh, maybe this thing will shoot the computer? Pick it up. This is so awkward. Put down laser. Shoot laser backwards. Yeah, because you can't really make anything follow the player. I hope that was good. It looks like it was good. Because the only thing you get is to move Seek towards the player, and as soon as you're not aligned with it, Seek is going to be random between two directions. So it, it's very awkward to steer that laser gun. All that to need a key still. But I 
think I did what needed to be done here, at least. Okay, and I don't think we'd recognize this if the lights were still out. Ooh. This is ominous still. Um, okay, it won't let me go that way. Probably a lot. I think more guns should require being plugged in. I guess this is going to be... All I can do is push this and see what happens. Oh. He is pushed through the hole. I think it's that's probably that hole at, like, the start of the game. Yeah, this one. Yes. Okay. Puzzle solved. We're going to walk just because I really want to get a feel for how long this walk is. Goes here, this. Oh, that's not too bad, because this is another shortcut. Yeah, that ain't bad. I don't remember where that other connection was. Okay, it is indeed prison. I'm taking a look. If there's anything about the characters looking in the walkthrough here. It doesn't look it. <clears throat> so you can continue. Your buddy Joe. So I did kind of break that. But that's fine. Joe's here. In our hearts. Also, the walkthrough says to do this, which I am very on board with. Oh, but we got rid of the cell key. Hmm. Was I not supposed to do that? That was the only key I had. Transporter. Hmm, where was... Oh, that's right, that was a different thing. Never mind, never mind, you're all right. I just have no memory whatsoever. Luki. And we're back. At the computer station. Yeah, doing this without the walkthrough and having to, like, figure out all the characters would probably not be very pleasant. On to K. Hmm, okay. Something's wrong with the computer on this level of the tower. Does this have something to do with you, bimbos? I can't believe we just got called bimbos. Whoop. The force of your team overpowers him. He dies. We win. I'm very curious about the exact details on that one. Oh, it's because we have Joe. He's not a bodybuilder, but you know, he's no bimbo either. Dead guard. Green key. Incredible. Preservation of cyborg weapons. Well, what's the other one? Nothing. There's literally nothing. Why is there even a switch? Okay. A 
Maze with wires. That's great. Cyborg army. Mm, this is going to kill us instantly if we do something wrong. Like that. That's cute, actually. I like that. You just gotta run like hell. Dodge the lasers. Something very strange about this place. Remember me? The guy you gave a blaster to? Well, my name is Sean, and I'd like to repay you. Here's a bomb. Thanks, Sean. Where are you going? Hey, out of the... Stop pushing my bomb. Sean! Sean, you don't have to do this. Alright, that worked out in our favor. Hey there, Rebels. I know you're here. Just guess who I am. An isolationist I am no more. I'm now an Alliance officer. Is it the Lokai guy? And I will get my revenge. Oof, this is revenge. Oh. That for, the oof was for the sliders. The O oh was for the keys and doors. Save before and after solving each puzzle. Okay. I mean, this is why we have a walkthrough, but I have to at least screw everything up once. Um, so what's our goal here? Like slide through all these. And I'm gonna say that I have to push this one because it lets me. Ah, but not before pushing this one. Because it also lets me. Um, that's gonna actually set off a pusher though. That looks. Oh, nope, not good. No, that's obviously not going to work, because now I'm stuck here. I'm probably supposed to ride on that, because that's... Ooh. That didn't happen last time. Well, that's obviously wrong. Jane should just give us the solution. And there's all this mess, which I haven't even touched yet. That actually seems correct. I can leave, and I can push this. If I push this, and then I push that, which makes that go, and this one goes up, which will not do anything with that one just yet. Uh, what's gonna happen? Wow! I solved a puzzle! Kind of, I solved the first part of the puzzle. I swear, I didn't look at the walkthrough once. I see you figured that out. I promise, no more sliding puzzles. I'm not that evil. 
It's low car. We knew it. Okay, black key. Great message. To get that, I have to get rid of that. Black key message is fantastic. Um, I think I already screwed this up though. I don't know. But... This. I'm just winging it at this point. I'm not really doing much more than gut instinct of what looks like it should be right. Hello. I don't have a black key. I have to be able to get a black key, so I need this one. I might have done this one right too. It's my lucky day. I guess that's one way to deal with the player having keys. Yeah, it's really impressive that it works. And also that's kind of pointless. Alright, well, I mean... Like, I don't even know if this is breakable now. Satisfied. The object attempts to walk northeast, south, and west. Clear the forest wisely to get it to the exit. I've never seen a puzzle like this. I kind of like that. Northeast, south, west. Okay, yeah, so just clockwise. Okay, so I would assume that the reasonable thing to do is ignore all the ammo and stuff. Wait, how do you even start this? Pardon? Excuse me. I'm a bit confused. I thought I was going to keep locking. Seems awkward. I was doing so good. Yeah, but like it just hangs. Okay, well, if I can fudge it, 
by just existing. I feel like that's the solution. Car strikes again. I don't... Okay, wait, no. I don't think this is intended? I'm genuinely unsure, though. I mean, it only moves one space at a time. I guess it has to be. So this still isn't really much of a puzzle in that regard. Lokar, you gotta think this one through. Kind of limited yourself by saying no more sliders. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I was going to have to, like, create a specific path to make sure it doesn't get caught in a circle. But I guess it's just don't go for the ammo and gems until the puzzle's done, which is obvious. Why not? All that does is complicate things. Save here. Oh no, the door closes behind you. Now what? Lokar is walking by. You have some ammo. Oh no. Lokar. That's probably important. Oh, okay. I just hope he doesn't look to his right. Why can't I shoot? I have no ammo. It gets rid of all my ammo. I just picked up ammo. Hmm? So this is just a timing puzzle? My ammo vanished. When does the ammo go away? Oh, once the ammo's actually all gone. Back here, low car. Yeah, okay, so you have to wait, and then you have to fire at the exact moment? Oh! Okay. If I don't pick up the ammo, the ammo will drain faster. this. It doesn't just seem bad, it is bad. Wow, I didn't actually intend to stop on 69 there, I just happened to. So I was like, you know what, I should get the gym still. Everybody, make sure to request that Azzy's Classic Zoo, which lets you do like ammo 500 to give yourself 500 ammo. Everybody, make sure it supports negative numbers, because now we need it, apparently. I guess because it's very easy if you have hundreds of ammo, but it's giving me ammo here. And I get that that's supposed to be, haha, Lokar, he tricked you. I mean, the ammo vanishing here is pretty arbitrary. Mmm, he just politely stopped and let the bullets cross. This is the worst assassination attempt I've ever seen. I got 
I'll do this later. Okay, before the doors open... Before they open... Yes! You never saw that coming! I'm shot! This is just absolutely bizarre. I noticed my flags... Okay, no, still the party. They just cleared out everything else. I have to know. Okay. Oh! Oh, actually. I don't want that bullet. Warning! During battle, do not pause the game. Press H to pause it. That's a new one. Does that? I mean, that does work. The general idea is to use escape, but you can bring up the help too, I suppose. Uh, Lokar left us a note. He said now he's he's working for the Alliance. He hates us so much that he abandoned his isolationist ways. Also, this is kind of neat. In that our, our party actually matters for this. We just didn't get a chance to set it up for one last time, so... Yeah, Hudson. Put that alliance trained good use. Shoot low car and defend. Well, I mean, we've got to do this because I have a, fun, a feeling that everybody can shoot low car. Or we can punch low car. Problem is, all of these sound much more fun than shooting him. We can uppercut low car. We don't have Jane, though. That's such a shame. This is very fast in that it just instantly pops up the next command, which good. But also you don't get to like look at the screen and enjoy this RPG battle. So does he have three bars of health? And this is why it took our ammo. Because now it's a, lim a much more limited resource. Let's defend. This also seems like one of those really bad RPG battles where it's so fast paced that you just get to like interrupt attacks. So as long as we just keep hitting buttons, like we haven't been hurt yet. We're just wailing on low car. This is... Anybody who was around for Uddy Blade got to see a better RPG system than this. I mean, we could probably just, like, change out somebody for somebody else. We're just going to look at the verbs when we're done with this, because I don't think there's any difference. Between, like, if we had Jane here, it would just be like, use her knowledge to beat up Lokar or shoot him. <sighs> well. Yeah, this giant health bar is great. Okay, what's also really funny is the Game of the Month review is like, your final party composition is very important for the RPG battle. It'll drastically change. So I don't know, maybe the other people aren't as good? But I mean, our punches are just doing one damage. And that's enough to stunlock him. Oops. Oh, I, there we go. I accidentally didn't pick an option. And I think that made me waste my turn. So there's the danger. If 
you get too sloppy. Let's let Lokar attack. Okay, there we go. I guess Joe took like one damage as Lokar took a step to the right. I don't know, this is like... By 98, this is not an impressive RPG engine. It's extremely basic. There's almost no animation. There's no power fart spell like in Uddy Blade. I think it's... I don't remember if it's King's Quest or Quest for Glory ZZT, where it has this kind of mesh attack kind of RPG battles, but and that one you have to actually physically press buttons on the screen with the player rather than picking from a menu, so... There's, and there's cooldowns on the attack, so there's some attempt at nuance on it, but this is just... yeah. The fancy thing about this is it technically supports a billion characters, but I think the only difference is just the text here, the name Asher. Alright, we win. Lokar collapses. I can't move. So that apparently didn't work right. I wonder if like shooting him, killing him, and then shooting him again really fast broke something. Isolation is rule on hollow chamber number four. Wait. Was this all an illusion? Well, I mean, I guess not, since we were free to leave. Holy cow, what a weird experience. I don't think you're safe here. Would you like to team up with us against the Alliance on the rest of the way up the tower? Sure. Sean joins the party. The entire third floor is our home. Why? What was that sickening test all about, you lunatic? The entire third floor of this tower is a hollow chamber. I can reject any image in that chamber. Hey, it was a neat game, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oop. Well. The car sucks. So what are these? I'm gonna go with nothing. Some angry guards. Alfred the Woodcutter. Remember this guy? Alfred the Woodcutter. What the heck are what the heck are you and the isolationists doing here? We eventually found by the Alliance that they took us here and we teamed up against you, rebel scum. Everybody here seems to actually want to kill us, but doesn't seem to be doing anything about it. Generic health beverage, yes please. Ooh, a turbo lift. I'm gonna hold off on that one. That seems like the way we're supposed to go. What do we got over here then? Is... Oh, that's actually very good. I really like that. That Also, yes, this game, this series, has been using the Megazook sign jingle for quite some time now. Simply dazzling. That's cool, having the lower floor visible like that. Lokar specifically asked for this viewing hole. He enjoys the luxury of surveillance. What a great viewing hole. As, as they're called. Up this high in the tower, we are above the biodome of the asteroid. That explains the stars you see from the Invulno glass wall. Alright. Lokar's hole. That's the one.
I think just the RPG Val, and probably the shooting him, because he seems fine. I think those parts were... were it. Let's see, turbo lift time, I guess. Yeah, that would track if it started at the This Seems Weird board. One-way turbo lift to Albuquerque. Oh, well, that elevator didn't work properly. Laboratory is closed. Well, the gang's all here, and then some. Oh, I like the kind of peeling paint on the walls. I think this is what that effect's supposed to be. Display area. Feel free to look around. Member selection simplified version. Simply touch a person to get them to join, or touch where they were to put them back. You now only have three members in your party. Please only touch an object after all the others are done processing. You may think you can get more members this way, but it just screws everything up. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that cleared out our party. Oop. Well. Sure. Asher 2. This one's Jane, right? Joe. No. Jane. Oh, is this game doing... Well, tell me who this is, at least. Liz, yeah. I wonder how consistent this be. I know I've seen other ZZT games explicitly state this, but... Char 2, like the player, is male, and Char 1 is female. This is how we represent a binary gender in ZZT in certain games, apparently. So if we only get three, is it Jane and Asher too? Is that what we're going with? We got Roto, we got Cal, we got Hudson. I'm, I'm not going to lie, Hudson was good. I've got no complaints about Hudson. Then we got this other person who I forget who they are. All-in-one time-space manipulator. This incredible package contains the engine and operating system for a small ship to manipulate the fiber of the fourth and fifth dimensions. This supports time travel, timeline travel, time phase drive, and timeline incapacit incapacitator. Oh my. That's a nice little museum. A five-dimensional transporter. When attached to a computer and power source, this device can transport matter anywhere from a 100 Carter radius to anywhere else within the radius. One Carter is a five-dimensional unit of length equal to one light year but able to stretch across the fabric of time and possibility. Well, now we know. That's a Carter. Wrist size, time phase device. This creates a skin-tight shield around the wearer when activated, but then distorts the time inside from outside with the turn of a dial. Allows time to pass quickly, or allows the user to stop time and do with the time-space continuum as he pleases. Alright. Ultra-fast aging gun. When the beam is shot, it traps the victim in a hell of being frozen in time. It also trapped within the enclosure of the beam. For the user, the victim stars and dies immediately. Yet the victim dies a slow, lonely, painful death. What a great museum. I'm... Very worried that we're gonna like walk on to another board and be like, boy, I wish we took some of these things. Floor three. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> they couldn't have come up with a better name for that one. Lokar didn't want credit on that. USS Ultima. Richard AT95660. The ultimate ship. This is armed with all current technology. It supports a crew of 20 and is very small and agile. Main laboratory. Oh, 
Oh, hey. A sealed door, well. So what now? Was that question mark just the help text? Jane and Asher too. Hmm. Ammo. Have people shoot as long as their ammo holds out, then use physical attacks. When Lokar is dead, enter the passage, and then in all caps on the walkthrough, what? Touch the booth door. Mm, unfortunately, our party does matter. I have Jane and Joe. I need Joe to open the door. But yes, this is indeed going to be Joe's lab, and I'm sure Jane is going to have a good time. Oh my gee, the research center? Your quarters, have they actually stolen the TPRC and annexed it to the tower? Guess so. Lion's property, no access. Hmm. The offices, what? The virus, quick! We have to put the antiviral program into the system and spread it to each computer in the network. We have three minutes. What antiviral program? I program it in my spare time. Okay, we're going to move fast, I guess. Keyboards? Get out of the way, so we share. Let's go, let's go! Yeah. That's just the chair. I'll get it on the way back. I have a feeling that there's going to be more. Pushing the chairs aside is great, but the fact that we're pushing them back is the best part. Yep, our timer is still ticking. I don't think this is a computer, but just in case. Good call. I guess you're a computer now, too. Are these guys computers? Really? I hope the dot down there isn't... Okay, this gives us a moment to breathe. Why aren't these computers networks? Yeah, actually, that's almost certainly the case. Ooh, wow. Damn right, it's been kicked out of my way. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Let's just explore the place now. Whew. The chair kick was really good, and I wasn't expecting it. I was, genuine, I was expecting that to be a door and for it to be like, only Jane can open this. So, we're very fortunate. The computer is fine. So what are we exploring? Computers don't seem very usable. I guess whatever the big thing is down here. It's been so long since it, I've gotten to like do stuff in this lab, like this part.
the fifth dimension is reality warping, but the sixth dimension I might, might be kicking. What am I exploring? I don't know what to do now. That. Save, install the antivirus on everything. Oh no, okay. South and west twice. Okay, so now we can glued shut. Okay. They stole this place like out of time and space and they're like, let's keep the barrels of nuclear waste. But apparently now we can go up. Over there, the force field generator, deactivate it. Who are these people? Swamp Maze was very much not fun, and I think I like went into the editor and just revealed the path immediately. I mean, you do have to admit, this series very much has come a long way. Like, I only just now looked at the clock and realized it's been more than an hour and a half since I started this. So this one's just flying by. Oh, Jane, hello. I'm sorry about what happened to you while you were gone. It's okay, Euler, what happened? Things started vanishing one by one. We had no idea what was happening, and we all appeared here. I think the Alliance has stolen the center, or at least made an exact duplicate. How strange, why would they do that? The Alliance is wicked and corrupt. They are probably just taunting us in their own sick ways. Agreed. Being too intrepid, beam seven up. Do not include our party. Well, let's just, uh... See if anybody else has anything worth saying. Me and the receptionist. It's disappeared one by one. That's Karen. Jane is pretty cool. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Let me just leave these people stranded. Alright, well, nothing too exciting with the rest of them. Hmm. Oh. Interesting color choice for those torches. Okay, I mean, I guess it blends them in with the carpet, but... You could have just given me torches. Okay, well that's gonna be our exit. Eventually. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well. Oof. Okay. I mean, this would make a nice, like, background. That's just going to be a All the transporters being invisible makes this much worse than it needs to be. If I could see these, I think this would be okay. Still just a circle. How do I escape the circle? This is supposed to be right back here. 
Okay. Is this a dead end? Oh, okay. That was the exit to the north by putting a board edge in the middle of the board. I did not think that was going to be the case whatsoever. Where are we? This is getting really weird. <laughs> well, I mean, if you say so. That review was not kidding. This is definitely one of the longer ones. Okay, so we can't even get in there. I guess we... looks like we're gonna have to jump. And... Our favorite phrase makes a return. Just go south. Ammo. Oop. Oh, this is really messing with my brain. Okay. You fall five stories to land on a huge cushion and bounce off. And now there's ruffians. Remember ruffians? What, what are those ruffians adding to this game? <laughs> Yeah, there's a surprising number of parallels between this and Uggy Blade. We just fell down a big gaping hole. Five stories. Only so we can immediately be brought right back up. And get this key. You know, with like, modern ZZT tech, you could probably do that sequence really well and it would be very cool, but... Instead, it have, I had to like constantly stumble to find the direction it wanted me to move to continue falling. And that didn't work so well. We're gonna meet Mr. C. Remember that guy? I kind of forgot. Kind of took a back seat for most of this. Mr. C, it is I. You wish to know my true identity. See, I will tell you. Your lives are all doomed anyway. I am? Alright. Who's it gonna be? Who will Mr. C be revealed to be this whole time? Oh, that's Chris. Chris? Brother? Well, the notorious Mr. C he's Joe's little brother, Chris. If you just kind of acts of Chrono Wars, all questions will be answered. Chrono Wars 10, Chrono Wars. To be continued. Yes, the subtitle of the next game is just the name of the game. What's that scroll say? I didn't want to read it because there was talking. I can read that very quick. Okay. No, that's that. So the truth has come out. Mr. C is indeed Chris. And let's see, what do we want to see? I really doubt we can shoot him, but sure, why not? Can you shoot Mr. C? No.
There was no that that child was not mentioned whatsoever. That's it's all in the past now. There was something. Oh, the RPG battle. Battle with Lokar. Um. Okay, that's the painter. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm after. Joe can punch and shoot. Jane can kick. So Jane is like a true Chrono Wars protagonist. Al gets the uppercut. Also, these all jump to the same label, so they're probably going to be identical. Hudson can put his alliance train to good use. Asher 2 can attack. So that's about it. Is there anything else? I swore there was one more thing. Maybe not. I guess that was it. Yeah, attack is kind of a, a bit of a cop-out. Uh, or mysterious, I suppose it could be that too. Oh, that's right, the life support. We wanted to see if Jane was necessary to not die instantly. Hmm, what's actually... Set infected. Okay, Jane or Asher, I guess, have something to say about this. Asher 2, actually, I'm sorry. Asher 1 does not consider the life support systems. <laughs> Only Asher 2 is aware of this. Jane taught him that one. Okay, so otherwise... Otherwise we set infected, and I really want to know how that... How that turns out. Let me just do a file search real fast. If infect... Or no. Wait. Okay, life death, that's all. Infected is referring to the virus. Life. Dead. Huh? Why do I have a hard time breathing? What happened? Oh no, the life support system. We forgot about it. If only Jane were there to warn us. You all drop dead, as well as everyone else on this level of the tower. That rules. Thank you, Jane. I couldn't have done it without her. Uh, blank boards are... yeah, they're just deleted boards. They were almost certainly toolkits at one point. <sighs> There's probably some neat stuff. Are there any other... No, just Hudson. Like... I feel like we didn't use several of the characters. And it looks like they're all identical in the RPG fight, so... I don't see why they were there in the first... They really seem to have just been there to sort of fake you out. Uh, where was it? Let's see. Sure, we used Joe. Definitely need a Jane. Cal... Maybe. Hudson was important. What's that other lady? Liz, yeah. What's. Does Liz do anything? If Liz. Okay, there's something here. G offices. Guard. If Liz do. Message do. Oh, that's right. She has good ears. So you get a, you get a bit of a warning not to go this way. Thank you, Liz, for your service. Uh, I think that's just gonna be. 
Oh, no. Okay. 39, 14. Mm -hmm. Well, the guard stabs all... Okay. So you need to have Liz or Joe to overpower him, I guess. All right, so Liz had some help. This is our incredible bimbo line. Party. I mean, it was probably too many characters for what Kronos was going for, but it was a cool idea. And I think in pretty decent job. I mean, this is still 97, right? Yeah, 97. Like, this this was, like, impressive. I think it's definitely been the most ambitious of the series yet, to be sure. And it's a little bit too reliant on just screwing you over if you made the wrong choices, but... General idea wasn't wasn't bad. We still don't know anything about that child we murdered. We know who Mr. C is. We don't know who the child is. So that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Let's uh, move on to our credits and call it a night because it's been close to two hours. It's a lengthy one, but the time went by quick. There's more than I can say for some of the episodes in this series, to be fair. Next week, we are actually going to do something different. We're going to take a one-week break from Chrono Wars 10, Chrono Wars. I really hope Chrono Wars 10 explains it. This is going to like just linger with us for the rest of the series. Something cool has better happen. But thank you all for sticking around. It's Sunday, we're going to have a special different stream. There'll be more details on that as I get that set up. And we'll, of course, be back again on Friday with whatever happens in the polls. I should set that up as well. Yes, it will be a special guest stream next Sunday. With, uh, the mysterious Ms. C, whoever that could be. We'll be playing something different just to get a little break from all this time travel and child murder and life support system stuff. Other than that, um, I don't know if I'm going to have time to... No, I think I'll just wait till tomorrow. But if you're hanging out with us on the Discord, which is not linked on the screen, but if you hop into our Discord, or if you're on the Patreon, there's going to be an open beta on the museum for the new user account system that I would just want to make sure isn't completely falling apart and confirm that other people can also get emails from it in their inbox, ideally. Truth be told, I will, ex I will probably accept stuff showing up in a spam folder, but hopefully that won't actually be the case. But I do want to get that into place so we can move on to working on overhauling stuff like the upload system, start getting more information about what's being uploaded and where it's coming from. It'll be fun. But for now, it's hitting me that I've been sitting here for two hours straight. This was a good one. Thank you all for joining us. Hope to see you next week for Not Chrono Wars, and hope to see you two weeks from now for more Chrono Wars. Chrono Wars, colon, Chrono Wars. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. See ya.